Hi, hello, everybody. Welcome to another session of One Question a Day. And the question we are going to discuss is on the essay on alveolar bone that includes development, classification, histology, and functions. Okay. The candidate proceeds to answer. Major portion of alveolar process begins with the root formation. The development begins with the begins with the root formation is the key word and eruption of the teeth. It is dependent on the presence of the teeth and the function is what that keeps the alveolar bone high and maintained. Okay, so it is dependent on the presence of teeth at the bell stage. Bony septa and bony bridge start to form. At bell stage of tooth development, surrounding bony septa and bony bridge begins to form and separate the individual tooth from another. This is most key. So this is made up of classification. Alveolar bone is comprises of alveolar bone proper and basal or body bone. Again, alveolar bone proper is divided into bundle bone and lamellated bone. Basal bone is divided into cortical bone and spongy bone depending upon thickness. So this alveolar bone process is divided into alveolar bone proper and supporting alveolar bone. Alveolar bone proper is a thin lamellae of bone that surrounds the root of the tooth, whereas supporting alveolar bone surrounds the alveolar bone proper. Give a diagrammatic representation. So this alveolar bone proper is further divided into lamellated bone and bundle bone, whereas other thing is divided into compact bone and spongy bone. The functions include alveolar bone form and protects the sockets of the tooth. Both the forms and protects the socket attachment. It gives a space for the attachment of periodontal fibers, which is a thin principle or which are principal fibers of the periodontal ligament and helps the joint to survive. Support. They support the tooth roots on the facial and palatal and all sides and by acting as a shock absorber. Right? So the chemical composition, most of the bone is made up of collagen fibers, intracellular substance and organic. So the substance is about organic or osteoid, consists of collagenous proteins, about 90%, non-collagenous protein, 10%. Inorganic is 67%, 65 to 67%, and occur as calcium hydroxyapatite crystals and salts. They have more carbonate. And calcium to phosphorus ratio is maintained. They are arranged in the form of leaf in between the leaf, the water, sodium, potassium, calcium, and metal ions are situated. Collagen. How is the collagen distributed? Mostly type 1 collagen is present in the bone. Other traces of type 5, 7, 12 are also presented. The lamellar are mature or the lamellar bone has collagen fibrils arranged in sheets, whereas immature or woven bone or newly formed bone are randomly, collagen fibrils are randomly arranged. They are lie perpendicular to each other here, random. Interfibular space is very less. Interfibular space is more. The difference between lamellar and woven bone. It is pink in, more pinkish in, mature is in H and E signs, whereas here it is, takes up a blue stain. The non-collagenous protein of the bones are osteocalcin, and they are responsible for vitamin regulation, bone resorption, calcification. Some of the names are osteocalcin, osteonectin, osteopontin. Osteonectin, they are concerned with cell adhesion and proliferation. Osteopontin, rich in aspartate, and decrease the growth or control the growth of hydroxyapatite crystals. And they are regulating the vitamin D3. Bone siloprotein, seen at the mineralizing front, and associated with initiation of hydroxyapatite crystal and down regulated by vitamin 3. So they are intrinsically related. So we saw about the mature bone and the immature bone. The Hovatian system in which the bones are packed in the lamellar system is tightly arranged and bone mass is arranged in layers. Whereas here cavities are available and giving it a honeycomb appearance. Immature bone or woven bone, collagen fibers randomly arranged and not seen usually in adult stage. Again, the composition. Going into the Havertian system, a brief recapitulation of how the circumferential lamellae are there, arranged in concentric circle, forming a central osteon 
basic units of bone with no collagen is present. A brief about resting line and reversal line. The Waltman canals, how they separate or supplies to each of the bone. Let us see how another candidate has attempted the same question from a different. The alveolar bone proper consists of party or partly of laminated and partly of bundle bone and is about 0.5 to 0.4 mm thick, surrounds the root of the tooth and gives attachment to the principal fibers of the predatory ligament. Lamellar bone contains osteon, which, which has a blood vessels in the Havarsian canals. The blood was surrounded by concentric lamellae to form the osteon. The basic lamellae of the lamellated bone are roughly parallel to the surface of the marosperus to form the Havarsian system. In the bundle bone, in which principal fibers of the pedial are anchored, is character, the bundle bone is characterized by the scarcity of the fibrils in the intracellular substance. Spongy bone is organized, uh, is poorly organized tissue as in contrast to compact bone, consists of large and spindle to pe uh, spicules called as trabeculae. Osteoclasts are the bone cells that remove the bone tissue and may be seen in that. Briefly about the morphology. Radiographically, the lamina alveolar bone proper is referred to as lamina dura. This is due to the decreased increased radio opacity due to the presence of thick bone without trabeculation, in which X-ray must penetrate and because of increased mineral content, do not predate and appear to be white line. Histology of bone, again, same. Circumferential, concentric, industrial, haversian canals. The Diagram, neat diagram. Dense outer sheet of compact bone and central medullary cavity. Circumferential lamellae runs, endorse the entire adult bone. Concentric makes up the bulk of the compact bone and has osteon. Osteon has a central blood vessels and adjoining osteons are connected by Waltzmann canals. So this has to be the structure of your answer. Having organic, inorganic, all the histological part and how the whole system of classification of alveolar bone works. Very important questions from university exam point of view. Happy learning. Read continuously. Stay connected with our channel for another question. Till we meet again, continue learning incrementally. At least one question a day.